<laughs> if I'm lucky, I'll oh, see. Okay. Yeah, just fill it up to that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 going on guys Candace B here thank you so much for coming to my channel welcome back to my subscribers and welcome to my new ones how are you guys doing today happy New Year's Eve oh my goodness you've made it to 2021 almost kind of not really we still have one more day so hang in there I hope you guys are having a good end to your year I know it's been crazy and I look back at the video I filmed at the end of the year last year and how excited I was for 2020 and I'm just like let me keep my mouth shut this year let me let me not say anything you know cuz what the heck so in today's video I'm going to be doing another Forex related reaction video you guys seem to have really liked the first one so I was like why not find another you know popular ish Forex trader who is on YouTube creating content and see what they have so I did find a specific individual who some people recommended again in my YouTube uh, Forex best Forex YouTube what is it called I really just forgot the name of one of my videos, but yes, the best Forex channels on YouTube. Some of you guys recommended this individual named Reiner or Reiner Tio. And so I'm gonna be reacting to his video called, should you quit your job to trade full time? And I feel like this is a pretty good video to react to just with everything going on. You know, a lot of people are losing their jobs and whatnot. And a lot of people are really rethinking their path, their career path. A lot of people are pursuing more of their passions and leaving their nine to five job to do that. So, you know, kudos to them. But this is a really good video to react to. I know I, I made a video on my experience of working a nine to five job while trading Forex. And this seems to be more questioning the idea of should you even do that? Should you leave your nine to five job and trade full time? So I'm really curious to hear what um, Mr. Tio has to say. And just as a disclaimer, guys, this is just a video for fun. This is just a lighthearted video. I'm just reacting to content. And I don't know this individual, so I don't know if they're a good mentor, if they're not, whatever the case may be. So take it with a grain of salt. I'm just reacting solely to what he's saying in the video. If I agree with it, if I don't, whatever the case may be. But we're keeping it positive because this is a positive channel. Anyways, let me stop talking and let us get into watching this video. Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So in today's episode, I want to discuss right this, right? Should you quit your job? To trade full time because this is something that I believe it's is on on your head right and you're thinking about this man right now should I quit my job to trade full time so in this episode I want to I want that mic that he has I think that's called a a Getty a Yeti mic I really want one of those share with you a few important things to consider that many traders just missed out right before you you know go down this path number one you must have results to show for. So if you want to trade full time, right? So right now, if you are part time trading, you must have you know positive results to show for. If you are a losing trader and if you want to trade full time, you won't suddenly miraculously become a profitable trader. It doesn't work that way. So this means that if you want to trade full time, right now you should at least be a profitable trader, right? Your trading account is in a green. You are seeing some consistency and you want to do it full time. But if you're not, then trading full time will just make things worse. And here's why. I agree to what he's saying. If you're going to do something as big as leaving your job, especially when, let's say, you have bills to pay for, you have kids and stuff like that, obviously it would make sense that you're making money consistently from Forex. Like, that just makes sense. So I know a lot of people are just trying to figure out how to leave their job and trade Forex full time, but it's like you got to re review and, and see are you actually making the results that would allow you a lifestyle to, you know, trade full time. Let me give you an example. Let's say you go down to a casino, right? Maybe once a week, once a month, and you're losing money at a casino. And then you tell yourself, hmm, maybe if I visit the casino regularly, I can be a consistently profitable gambler. Does it make sense? No, of course. Did he say casino? If he's <laughs> if you go to the casino regularly? I guess some people do that, I don't know. Of course not, and it's the same as trading, right? If you are trading part-time, not making money, trust me, when you do it full-time, it's going to get worse, right? That's where your emotions come into play, that's where you lose your income, all the negative thoughts come into play and make things worse, and I'll talk more about that later. So that's the first thing. Before you want to trade full-time, you must have the results to show for it. Number two, you must have a reasonable trading account size to do it full-time because 
let's face it, right? Let's say, assume you can make 20% a year. On a $1,000 trading account, that's about 200 bucks a year. On a million dollar trading account, that's about $200,000 a year. So you can see that. I like the way he talks. He just talks straight, you know, perspective wise, like just straight facts. I definitely agree. You need a reasonable account size in general. I, I definitely agree to that because like he said, you can't really live off of $200 a year. I mean, maybe some people can, but not anyone that I know of personally. So it's like if you have a thousand dollar account size and you're making 20% a year, which is a lot, then that's only $200. Versus if you had a $1 million account size, you're making $200,000 a year with 20% return. So that's obviously a big difference. But the main thing I personally think is that you just got to focus on what your priorities are, like what your circumstances are and how that can reflect, you know, the amount of money that you end up making based on your account size. So, you know, some people might be cool with having a $20,000 account size. Some people need a $500,000 account size. It all depends on lifestyle, you know, goals, whatever the case may be. But yes, having a reasonable account size and reasonable being a very, you know, subjective word because it depends on the person again, like I say, um, that, that does make sense for sure. You know, it's nothing to do with your strategy, but the size of your account, it matters a lot. I don't think you can survive with $200 a year. But at the same time, $200,000 a year, I think that's pretty much doable. Or maybe even $100,000 or $50,000. That's doable for you. So here's the deal, right? If you want to trade full-time, right, you must have the right account size for it. It's going to be pretty darn difficult to trade full-time on a small account size because you probably would be taking a lot of unnecessary risk that leads to account blow up. So manage your expectations, right? Don't expect to trade full-time with a $500. Manage your expectations. Or a $1,000 trading account. Number three, be prepared to be incomeless for weeks or even months. And why do I say that? It's very simple. Every trading strategy out there right, seeks to you know, exploit certain patterns in the market. And when the market change, that strategy will go into a drawdown. It stops working until that uh, market condition change, change back to be favorable for the strategy again. So what this means is that you know, if you have a trend trading strategy and if the market is trending, you'll probably make money for weeks, for months until the trend stops trending. And then it goes to a range, you know, you reverse, that's where you start to lose money. And you never know ahead of time when market conditions will change. So this is why you experience, you know, losing streaks. This is why you experience a drawdown. So what this translates into is that if you are going to trade full-time, right, you will expect to, you know, go, you know, weeks, maybe even months, right, where, you know, you just don't make money from the markets because, you know, uh, market conditions are unfavorable to you. Right, so be prepared for that and to kind of you know, overcome that, it's, it's not too difficult. What you want to do is to set aside, for example, 12 months of living expenses. So when market conditions are not favorable to you, you don't have to you know, dig into your trading account and withdraw money and you know, cover your daily expenses because you've already set, of, set aside a pool of money to cover your expenses. And that's important. That gives you like a psychological buffer that, hey, you know, even if this month I don't make money, I can still put foot on the table, I can still survive. And that's important. Okay, so that's number three, right? Be prepared to be incomeless yeah he has a really good point i'm always an advocate of having you know a year or more worth of expenses covered like just worth of emergency savings that i feel like is such a nice mental space to be in when you know that you have at least a year's worth of expenses just saved up and you know you don't have to worry especially when it comes to something like this industry with forex like he said, you know, you have to be prepared to be incomeless certain times you, and you never know when those certain times are because if you are a particular trader and the market is not showing you the conditions that you trade in or you like to trade in, then you got to sit on your hands, sit out and that's money not being made. So that's why I feel like, you know, being a Forex trader, when people ask, oh, are you a full time Forex trader? I'm just like, I don't rely just on trading Forex to pay my bills and stuff like that having other sources of income is so important in any case i don't care if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a month trading okay like having more than one source of income multiple multiple i would say more than three is very important and so that you know if one source of income kind of falls off or gets a bit slow then you have the other ones to kind of keep you balanced and steady and it's just a nice peace of mind in my opinion to know that you have you know, income, money coming in different ways. It's like, that just feels 
good to know that that's the security that you have you know money is not everything at all but it's just the security that it brings that's just the world we live in and that's just what it is so yeah i agree with what he's saying for sure you got to be prepared for the the desert times the dry times you know the desert times what am i saying for weeks or even months number four this would apply for those of you who have family to feed you know if you're single then you know i think it's, it's not as hard on you because you're just liable for your own self. You don't have to feed your kids and whatsoever. So if you have family to feed, right, my suggestion is that to have a spouse, right, to at least have a, a full-time regular job. So this way, even if your income is not consistent, you have someone, right, with a consistent income and together, right, you all can still, you know, put food on the table to feed the kids and stuff like that, pay your bills. Yep. So it's important, right, to, if you're married, right, have a spouse to to uh, work a regular job and then provide a consistent income because your income is already not consistent. And another thing to add is that just because your income is not consistent doesn't mean that you can't contribute to the household. What you can do instead, you know, instead of, you know, putting, uh, let's say, uh, contributing to the household every single month, what you can do is do it once every six months because by the end of the six months, 10 years, chances are your trading strategy will, or rather, chances are the law of large number will work in your favor and your, your strategy is likely to make money, you know, every six months. Okay, so by then you have some money to contribute back to your household. So look to contribute, you know, every three months, six months, whatever you, you decide, right, instead of, you know, doing it, you know, weekly or monthly. And the fifth thing that I want to talk about is time frame, right? So Wait, yeah, in terms of what he said about family, again, I personally can't relate. To, well, obviously I have a family, but like my parents, I don't have kids and stuff like that right now. So I was in a better position to be able to leave my job and, and you know, take that risk, take that leap. Um, I don't think I would be as quick to have done it if I had kids and a husband and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I keep saying and stuff like that. But yes, uh, long story short, I really like how he thinks He's very rational, I can tell, and he makes sense in terms of just his approach to things, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Instead of every month having to pay certain bills, how about you just contribute a lump sum once every six months and then your spouse can do more of a monthly thing, but that con that contribution every six months can be a huge, you know, amount. And I, I get what he's trying to say. I hope I'm interpreting it right, but... I like the way he's thinking and I agree, you know, if you're watching this and you have a family and you're trying to figure out, you know, how can I quit my job and still support my family and, you know, still be a trader, still fulfill that passion of mine, then this is a good way to think of it. So yeah, I agree what he's saying. I really like this guy. He's cool. He cool. So yes, I know you want to trade full time, but you must ask yourself, is, is this uh, realistic? Because let's say if you are looking to trade off the daily time frame. You don't have to do it full time because on the daily chart, the chart is only printed once every single day, once every, you know, 24 hours. So what's the point of trading full time on a daily time frame? You, you don't need to do it full time. So this would only make sense if you are a short term trader trading off the five minutes time frame, the 15 minutes time frame. And if you say you want to trade full time, fair enough, right? Because you require a lot of screen time to watch the markets that is perfectly sound. But if you are trading off the eight hour time frame, the daily time frame, the weekly time frame, and you tell me you want to trade full time, I say that you're bonkers, right? It doesn't quite make sense. So, so think about that, right? The time frame. And Finally, the last thing that I want to talk about, number six, is this. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Just um, time frame. And even just how I see it, you don't, it's hard to give yourself a time frame as well when you're working through something that you've never done before. You know, trading Forex, you haven't really, I don't think there's anything in life that you've really prepared or you've done to prepare yourself to trade. It's kind of like different parts of your life kind of make you a certain type of trader and then you know, in terms of personality and characteristics, and then you kind of figure that out as you, you know, have trial and error moments in the market. So it's kind of hard to put a time frame on how, you know, quickly you'll become a consistently profitable trader. I know he's talking about time frame in terms of like what what time frame do you trade on, but I'm talking about time frame in terms of don't put a time limit on on this happening or on you being successful because that really puts a lot of strain on yourself, especially when you're trying to make that transition to full time. You got to be okay with taking time, being patient, waiting through that job, keep pushing through that job that you really don't like until you set yourself up. Just know what you really want. So many traders say, that, yeah, I want to trade full time, man, Rainer. But when it comes to trading full time, it comes to, you know, trading you know in the market watching the market 10 12 14 hours a day they realize man i'm like a slave a slave to the markets you know sitting in my chair all day and they realize that's not what they really want 
what they really want is actually the freedom. The freedom to do anything that they want and still have, you know, some income coming in to, to sustain their lifestyle. That's what they want, the freedom. So, so think deep, right? What do you really want? Do you really want to be a full-time trader, you know, watching the markets 10, 12, 14 hours a day? If so, fair enough, go for it, right? What I just shared with you would apply. But if that's not what you want, right? You want something that, you know, brings in some money at the same time, right? Allow you the freedom to do things that you want. Then you want to really consider your options, right? And to, to take a step back and to see how you can actually achieve that goal. Because trading full-time clearly, right, isn't uh, the solution to what you're looking for. So think deeper, right? Trading full time is not the solution to what you're looking for. That's that's very accurate. That's very accurate. A lot of people think that trading full time. I probably thought that a while ago too when I first started trading was that oh I just all I need to do is be able just to trade. I can just do this full time. It's like no, it's the freedom that I want. It's the freedom, the ability just to get up and do what I want. Get up whatever time I want it want to get up and plan my schedule however I want. That's what I want. And I feel like that's what a lot of people truly want, but they think it's just that they want to trade full time. But more so it's just that the, the fact that the Forex market is just allows you to have that freedom. So yeah, knowing what you want is very important. Right. Don't just blindly, you know, go after a goal that, that uh, you don't really want don't really understand what it entails and until you 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 put your step your feet in then you realize oh crap that's not really what i want okay so all this can be planned ahead of time right so take a step back look at the big picture and ask yourself right is this what i really want right so define your goal first then after which you can find the approach the medium right to to achieve that goal okay so a quick recap number one if you want to trade full-time you must have results to show for Number two, you must have a reasonable account size. Number three, be prepared to be incomeless for months. Number four, uh, ideally you have a partner, a spouse who works full time, so you have a regular source of income that is contributing to the household. Number five, right, uh, know the time frame that you're trading. And finally, number six, know what you want. Okay, so with that said, I have come to the end of this episode. I'll talk to you soon. That was a really good video. I appreciate that. Let me go back and go to his six yeah so have results to show of course reasonable account size of course be prepared to be incomeless yep for sure having a spouse that works full time that's definitely helpful know the time frame and know what you want yeah those six things are really really good things to take into consideration questions to ask yourself when you're trying to figure out should you quit your job to trade full time I hope that whoever's watching this and you're trying to question that and you're trying to figure that out, I hope you take the time to figure it out. Don't rush the process. I know that we are entering a new year and this year has been insane. You know, it may not have gone the way that you wanted it to go, but how I see it, it went the way that it was supposed to go. So if you kind of think of it that way, I feel like that's something that can keep you motivated as you enter 2021 and who knows what will happen in 2021. And of course, I'm praying that we all flourish. We all continue to get better and, and thrive and, you know, and be successful. But knowing that we don't know what's going to happen, you got to just be okay with rolling with the punches. So yeah, just taking your time, figuring out, you know, watching videos like this, like uh, Raina Tio, which yeah, I, I, I suggest you guys watch this video. I'm going to check out some of his other videos, but just, you know, doing the research and taking your time to figure out what you really want to do will help you to figure out is trading full time, you know, quitting your job and trading full time. Is that really what you want to do? It's, it's a question you have to really ask yourself and take the time to ask. So you know, I hope you guys do take the time to ask yourself that and shout out to those people who have taken the leap and have started trading full time and left their job and they're doing well, you know, shout out to you guys and keep going, keep pushing forward. Even if you're experiencing some errors, just keep pushing forward, you know? So I hope that 2021 is an amazing year for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by smashing that like button. I would appreciate it so much. Also feel free to comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give me more recommendations of any Forex related videos to react to. I can definitely do some more. If you've watched Mr. Tio, if you've watched any videos from him, let me know as well. He seems like a really, really 
great person. You can tell I, I like how chilly is. I love his Superman shirt, it's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, I just like his vibe and he seems very knowledgeable. And I also want you guys to comment, what are your goals? Not just for 2021, but what are your goals in general? That can be Forex related, it can be business related, you know, any other business. It can be any type of goal that you want to achieve in the short term and the long term. I'm not someone who advocates for, oh, every year, January 1st, setting a new goal. My whole thing is do it now, set the goal now, start it now, you know, why wait? What's the point in waiting for a new year to start something when you can literally do it now? So comment down below, let me know what goals you guys have planned and let me know what you're gonna do to execute these goals. And last but not least, do not forget to subscribe so you know when I post another video. And in the meantime, feel free to check out any of my other videos on this channel and my other channel. I appreciate you guys so much. This is the last video of 2020 on my channel here. And I am just so grateful for you guys for rocking with me. You know, I did not realize that I was gonna have so much growth in a year from when I started. I am still kind of shocked by it. I don't think I've really internalized um, internalized all the support that I've been receiving on this channel. Just from me sharing my mistakes and my experiences in Forex, you know, I, I'm appreciative and I feel like the people who subscribe to my channel and comment, I feel like you guys are very genuine. And even if you're a hater, you know, I appreciate you and I hope that you find peace in your life. You know, I, I wish peace and success upon everyone watching this. And I really, really hope that 2021 is a year that you can look back and really be grateful for. I hope that this year is that as well, 2020, you know? But I really hope that 2021 is great for you guys. I don't wanna have all these outlandish expectations because we don't know what's gonna happen. But again, like I said, I, I pray that we all thrive and that we all continue to be healthy and we will get through this together, you know? And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in 2021. So happy new year. I hope you guys had a great holiday and I wish you guys success, peace, love, prosperity, wealth, and health of the mind, body, and soul. And I hope you have an amazing day, week, year, and life. Bye.